Alright guys, uh, today's video is going to be on uh, Droid Bionic um, and I'm going to show you how ROM installed here um, and this is for Wizzed Bean it's a Jelly Bean ROM for the Droid Bionic you uh, may want to make sure that you have two things before you install this one is Super User which means you have root um, access and the other one is Safe Strap 3 uh, this is Safe Strap 3.05 um, so you want to make sure you have those two things working and installed and we're going to go ahead and power this thing down right now this is a stock ROM here, this is a stock ice cream sandwich you have to be on stock ice cream sandwich to install to install safe strap 3 so um, you can be on the leaks or the official, doesn't really matter um, so we're going to boot down here and we're going to boot back into safe strap and I will show you guys how to do that Okay, boot it down, and we're gonna power up. Uh, you're gonna see a splash screen here. It's gonna say safe strap is disabled. Um, it's gonna be in red, and we're just gonna hit the menu button down here. That's gonna boot us into safe strap, or uh, see this would be twerp recovery, team win recovery project. So I'm gonna go into boots. Um, you can see I actually already have a bunch of. ROMs installed. Uh, I don't want to activate a new slot right now. I'm just going to wipe one of these. So I'm going to go with this one, Eclipse. And we're going to activate that slot. Okay, so now that slot is activated. ROM slot 2. You can see it on top. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Wipes. So we're going to do a factory reset right here. We're going to wipe that off. So this should go ahead and wipe all the user data on ROM slot 2. And then I'm going to do a Delvic, or a cache I should say. I'm going to wipe that off. Back. Delvic. Wipe that. Back. We're going to do a system. Wipe that. And as soon as this gets done wiping, there we go. Now we have a nice clean slate to work with. So we're going to go back to installs. And <clears throat> I'm going to go up a level here. And we want to find Jelly Bean ROMs. So right here I have a uh, Whiz Bean New CN um, 2 uh, Not Overclocked Zip. So let's see if I can select that. And you want to make sure that's still there. Uh, and go ahead and flash it. Now this is um, based on Codename Android. What this is going to do is it's going to basically install a ROM that's like the Galaxy S3. So you're going to have a lot of the Galaxy S3 applications. It's going to look like it. It's going to run like it. Except for you're going to be on the Droid Bionic. That is the style of ROM they got on this thing. Um, so it's pretty cool. We're going we're gonna to check it out. And see, see how this works for us. Um, let's see here. You can get an overclocked version of this thing. If you prefer, they have an overclocked zip for it. I'm going to give you guys a link to uh, XDA developer site where you can get the ROM along with the latest GGAPs for it. And uh, you should have all the information in the video description down below. So let's just let this thing install here. Which, there we go, should be uh, working here. Almost done. Um, then all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and flash the uh, Wizbean G apps. And some of the Wizbean G apps that they got in here, let me uh, read off some of these to you guys for this newest version. Um, it is the Jelly Bean 4.2 uh, apps package. So you have a lot of those features um, updated keyboard, clock, clock widget, talk, maps, Chrome, Google Now, Gmail. Um, all those things are now updated. So we're going to go back one. We're going to pick the Wizbean new CN GGAPS. Come on, select. Again, make sure it is selected here. Sorry about my sniffling. I got a little thing going on here. So, okay, so we're going to let this thing flash. Again, this is just going to take a little bit. And then uh, we should be able to um, reboot and see how this ROM goes. Um, again, whenever you're flashing anything, make sure you have some decent battery. I mean, I got 50% now. Normally, I prefer more than that, but at least 50%. Um, just in case something happens while you're flashing, you don't want to have any problems. All right, so uh, we are good. So I'm going to reboot system. Um, so make sure you do that. And 
you shouldn't have any issues. So let's see what else are things here. The only bugs, I'm going to give you guys some bugs in this thing. The only bugs I see right now is, as they said, Bluetooth is a little buggy, may not connect. Also, that stock camera, you shouldn't use it. Use a aftermarket camera off the market or Google Play, um, which will work fine. And if you do end up using the stock on accident, uh, it's not a big deal. Just go ahead and reboot the device and these aftermarket cameras will work again. So those are pretty much the only bugs I'm seeing on this thing. We're going to go through it after it uh, boots up here and see what we got. I'm going to see, show you guys the boot animation. Then we're going to pause and uh, we'll come back after we get this thing booted up. So come on boot animation, let's see what we got here. Alright, there it is, finally. Took forever. I was starting to wonder myself if it was going to work. Uh, so, we're booted up in the boot animation there. Kind of cool looking, a little wavy thing going on. Uh, we're going to let this thing boot. Again, anytime you have a boot animation, give this thing at least 5 or 10 minutes just to make sure you're not going to boot loop or anything. Let it have as much time as it takes to do what it's got to do and go from there. So that is your boot animation, your little squirrely things changing colors right now. We'll let it boot. We'll come back when it's done setting up. Thanks. All right, well that was a nice, at least solid five minutes for the boot animation to run. It took quite, quite some time. Um, so let's go ahead and hit start on this thing. See if we can get into it. All right, um, I'm gonna skip my Gmail setup for now. My Google stuff. Just kind of skip through these settings here, so we can show you guys what we're what we're working with. Um, I'll just put this. Uh, we'll just skip right through it. Not worry, really worried about all this. And finish. Okay, so. Alright. Yeah, this is a little different looking for me. Not quite used to this on all the Verizon phones or the Bionics or the Motorola stuff, I should say. Um, so, let's kind of just look at it and let's see what we're dealing with. Um, okay, so you have a little animation right here. Um... Now, as you can see, this actually comes with Dropbox, and what I read online on the forum on XDA, I don't know if this is real or what the deal is, but it says um, 50 free gigabytes of Dropbox space. Once you sign into app with your account, it will send you an email to claim your free space for two years. Uh, have not tried that, but that is what it says. So. That'd be kind of neat. I, I really like my Dropbox account. If I can get some free space, I'd like that. So I may do that here after we're done. Um, so S suggests some suggestions of applications. That is uh, from the S3. So you can see uh, transitions look good. It uh, uh, looks nice. Let's see what apps this thing comes with. So we have a uh, Bluetooth app right there. Camera. And as you can see here, this is the camera app you don't want to use. This is stock. You want to use this F FX camera, and it works. Um, comes with Easy File Explorer. Awesome. Love that application. I have it on all my devices. Uh, S Memo, Flipboard, Chat On, different uh, applications there. Your Gallery, um, Paper Artist, S Suggest again right there, S Voice, Super Sue. Task Manager, Video Player, YouTube. All right, cool. So it just kind of loops all of your at. Wow, this thing is super fast. Holy cow, that is nice. Let's see what you got for widgets here. Um, wow, this yeah, this thing can just transition like crazy. It just loops all your widgets. Also, um, that is really cool. This this thing seems super super quick. Let's see here. Yeah real real fast um, let's go back to your home pages I wonder if I can do that with this too oh man wow this launcher is amazing you can just sit here and just fly through this thing uh, really really cool I like that a lot yeah real nice um, get your internet go to Google that's really nice and quick um, people phone all that kind of good stuff settings uh, so here you go performance so you got some processor tweaks here you can do min max cpu stuff um some boot animation disable things some interface oh yeah toggles and all kinds of goodies in here um since this is based on coding android you're gonna have some cool stuff so about phone 
And here you can see you're on Android 4.1.2. Um, and again, model version Wizbean CN2. And build number is JR003R. So, yeah, I mean, this thing actually just looks pretty quick. I mean, I, I, for smoothness and sleekness, it seems really, really fast to me. Uh, I really like that. Um, this, this is some profiles, some theming you can do in here. But um, let's see what we got for a pull down. So here right now there's no toggles in it, but um, you do have it. You can get into settings that way also. Like I said, you can go to interface and you can do power toggles, notification toggles, power widgets. So, sorry here. Widgets, um, widget buttons. Let's say we're going to add Bluetooth. Okay, so there's already a bunch in there. Now that I enable power widgets, they should be in there. Let's see what we got. There they are. So there you go. You got some power widgets in here. Um, yeah, this thing looks pretty cool. I would definitely recommend checking this thing out, seeing how you guys like it. The, like I say, the transitions are amazing on it. I really like that. And I mean, you can just, just fly through this thing and just keep it going. It's real, real nice. It looks pretty cool too. Uh, I kind of like it. I wonder if it has any better wallpapers. Let's see what we got here. Set wallpaper. Let's go to wallpapers and see if it has anything. Oh yeah. So there you go. You got the flower deal. You know, the thing you see in all the advertisements. Ooh, looky there. Very cool. So, yeah, guys, that, that is the Droid Bionic running uh, Whizbean, which is jelly bean based. Installs with safe strap. If you guys have any questions on rooting, or I should say, if you want to know how to root the, the Droid Bionic or install safe strap or any of those things, I have videos on it all. Check my channel out. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up on this one. And uh, other than that, I will check you guys next time. Thanks.